What's up nerds? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt Nelson, AKA The Muscular Nerd, and you're watching another episode of Just The Tip. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the belt. More specifically, where to place the belt during the big three because it's a question that I get pretty frequently. So first things first, this is a 10 millimeter Inzer double prong belt. Now that's really not gonna make too much of a difference, but I wanted to go ahead and preface the video with that, just in case there's any discrepancies for different belt sizes, or for tapered belts, or for different belts in general. And second thing you need to know is, the reason you wear a belt isn't to protect your back. And I know a lot of people are like, wait a second, that's exactly what a belt does. Well, yes, but the belt doesn't necessarily do it. You're supposed to do it. You're the one protecting your spine. The belt is just assisting in that. And what I mean by that is the reason that a belt works is because it helps you create a pneumatic brace. Now, Matt, why are you using these big words? What the is a pneumatic brace? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, Google. Pneumatic brace definition. A corresponding rigid side supports with inflatable main bladders attached to their inside surfaces. So, it's essentially having a rigid exterior with an inflatable interior. Hey, guess what happens when you take a deep breath? Yeah, your stomach fills up or expands with air. There it is, there's the bladder that can expand. And where are the rigid sides? Oh yeah, that's the belt. So creating a pneumatic brace is the reason that the belt works. And the position that you should wear this in is the position that allows you to create the best pneumatic brace possible for you. And that's gonna be in different positions for everyone. So I'm gonna show you the position that I wear it in so that you can kind of get a feel for this yourself. Now, the reason I wear it in this position is because one, it is the most comfortable for when I am squatting and or deadlifting, and two, it helps me create the strongest pneumatic brace that I possibly can. Because when I breathe out, I'm able to fill up my stomach with as much air as possible, and this creates an extremely, extremely safe position for my spine to be in, thanks to the belt being rigid and for me inflating my stomach. Now, your stomach is not the only part of the bracing. You also have to get your obliques and your lower lumbars into the whole thing. So, you have to create that rigidity in your mind. You have to think about it. When I brace, I'm thinking about making sure, not necessarily flexing everything, but making sure that I'm tensing up. You know how like, they say brace before impact? You don't necessarily flex, but you tense up. And that is, uh, that's a pro tip to help you with that pneumatic bracing. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that tip. Hopefully it helps you out, just give you an idea of why you should be using a belt and also where to place the belt for the most optimal positions. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. All right, I'm out of here. Stay muscular, nerds. It's lonely at the top, I'm tired of having company. Uh, so while you busy trying to fit in, I'ma stand out and view my life through this lens to see how it pans.